Ah, welcome to an <laughs> to alien theorist theorizing case file 267. The Holloman Air Force Base UFO documentary. Aliens. <laughs> I'm Brayden. I'm Zell. <laughs> you can't. Search engine optimization doesn't work when you just doesn't say, work for yeah, voice. For voice. Uh, I'm dead. And I'm Andrew. Now I will like I I will take credit for this case file because um take credit. You take credit well, for everything, thing, so why not? Thing. Yeah, yeah. You take credit. You take credit. Mean, let's do this case file and then ask Dan what I should watch. Yeah. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I was like, so every now and then people will send us stuff, and I'll be like, you know. If, if they send us stuff at the perfect time, sometimes it's the next episode. Well, I'll be one of us would be like, "Hey, look at this," and I'll be like, "Yeah, fuck it, we got we didn't have anything planned. This is the next episode." And I was like, it was like a late in the evening, something. I was like drinking, and someone sent me like a, a Twitter post that just said "Hollow Man." That's how I read it. Hollow oh, man. man, okay. And I went, uh, and there was like a there was like a picture <laughs> like of like Bacon. a glowing person, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I was like, it peaked all of it. I was like, fuck, Hollow Man. Yeah, I want to f- talk about the Hollow Man, so I posted it to the group with a- doing absolutely zero checking. That's of about right. what this is, and I said, on brand. Hey, yeah, I said we should we should do this next, and then we're like, yeah, okay. We had nothing planned, so this is up next. Just kind of jumps the queue. <laughs> and it's like, start wa- like looking into it. I'm like, Dan writes like Holloman Air Force Base. And I'm like, what is this bullshit? I was like, I want to talk about the Holloman. And then I realized that there was just a spelling error in the Twitter post that said Holloman. And it was, it's just Holloman Air Force Base. And I was like, oh, excellent topic. Uh, so... <laughs> That's the high end, the high end shit you get around here, you know. Yeah, you know, every now and then you catch us if you're sending us, uh, you know, stuff we can do. It does make the list. list every now and then you, you catch Braden on a few mu- muscle relaxants and a couple drinks, and he believes whatever is read in front of him. It's like if you put yeah. on the teleprompter, he will believe yeah. it. One hundred percent. Fuck it, Hollow Man. <laughs> Hollow Man. Do the Hollow oh, Man. Fucking right. All right, let's do it. <laughs> so this case file is going to be called uh, Case File Two Sixty Seven: The Hollow Man. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it actually is referring to Holloman Air Force Base, which is a United States Air Force Base, uh, which is located about six miles southwest of uh, Alamogordo, New Mexico, which New Mexico in itself is a, a uh, you know, UFO hotspot, I suppose, chock hotspot. full of, um, uh, you know, weird things that happen down there, you know, including, you know, things like Roswell and all that fun stuff. Um, testing of the first atomic doesn't, bomb. Uh, yeah, doesn't Gordo mean fat? Yeah, or big. El, El Gordo does. Yeah. El well, Gordo so we had a guy here. on our football team that we call it Gordo. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so well, he's a DB, so he shouldn't have been fat. <laughs> So the Air Force Base has been around. I mean, it was it was established in the you know the heyday of the United States, uh, uh, you know, United States military expansion right there, uh, and during after World War II, uh, it was established in the early 1940s. And originally, it was an Army airfield since the Air Force didn't exist yet. Um, and then it eventually became uh, the. Uh, Holloman Air Force Base, which was named after uh, Colonel George V. Holloman, who was actually a pioneer in the uh, area of pilotless aircraft and guided missile research, which is pretty fucking cool. <laughs> yeah, basically, he was in charge of just, they would, uh, you know, because they wanted, like, every this is completely made up, by the way, partially not made up, <laughs> but I'm going to credit Holloman. Uh, you know, they, like, they, they were like, oh, you know, it's a war, we need everyone to be able to just, you know, grab weapons and american soldiers be successful so he he had the prototype for the first nerf nerf propelled uh fucking grenade launcher you just throw it but they they put it in an old nerf ball that part is true i don't it's know real. they used to do that they used to do that because they're like you know, they what Amer- created. you know what americans can do we can fucking throw a spiral baby just tuck that grenade right in an old nerf ball and just 
yeah. on the battlefield. Yeah. Think about having, like, the, imagine Uncle Rico, part of the U.S. military, <laughs> hawking those things over them there. Yeah. It's, it's basically a tomahawk. Yeah, it's basically a tomahawk missile at that point. Like, it's yeah, yeah, but, yeah. There's <laughs> no though, like, like they were the before the intercontinental ballistic missiles. This was it, Uncle Rico, just fucking you said hawking them. <laughs> Ex college athletes just chucking grenades. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's yeah, what that ex- was the thing. Is like, could you? Could you imagine Patrick Mahomes or like Jared Allen with those? Just give him a whole bunch of them oh and you win the war. Yeah, they, yeah just bunker over. busters whoosh, right through, just right side through arm and them. The, yeah. Okay. Now, how Come heavy on. would that? How heavy would it be though? That'd be that'd be Depending do some explosive. damage to your joints. Just nothing's too heavy for Uncle. Reed. I mean, that is that is a re- that is a real thing. There are parts of that. The, the, I the saw Nerf that guy ball, throw a stake. The, <laughs> not Nerf. Well, I don't know if it's Nerf ball, but yeah, having a foam. It's like the Nerf football. Well, they had a football like a, it was formed around it like a yeah like a foam football yeah. put around an explosive was an idea that was pitched. Yeah. Did it have the whistle when you threw it? Oh, it should have <laughs> for intimidation for intimidation Nerf. purposes. <laughs> Yeah, psychological <laughs> warfare. <laughs> Duck. Hear so many of those. I I picture like what's that scene from Three Hundred where the arrows blood out the sky, but it's just fucking nerf, fucking nerf football. Oh, you, you hear oh, the fucking whistling. death whistle. Ah, you, ah, yeah. <laughs> Beware the death whistle. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that sounds like Holloman shit, right? <laughs> that sounds like stuff they would do at Holl- Holloman Air Force Base. Has a lot of stuff, I and mean, we'll, we'll probably get to it later. But Holloman has its own um, its own history of uh, lots of unusual uh research like non like not exactly your your typical uh uh military research going on uh in the things but a lot of really neat stuff went down in there but we're here to talk normally about something that is a lot more strange than foam covered grenade foam foam football grenades i suppose yeah so Holloman Air Force Base, we have we have mentioned before. We have talked about before where there was an alleged encounter with the President Eisenhower and some extraterrestrials. And I think the main oh, yeah. uh, the main main proponent for that case is it was is, is his granddaughter. I can't remember uh, his grand yeah his granddaughter Eisenhower and can spill the beans. And on she it. yeah she's oh. I think she's still touring and still doing uh, some talks and some yeah, books. One small payment and the purchase of like four of her fuck healing crystals and you get the story. Um, yeah, that's what it was. But yeah. Holloman is uh, included in another quite interesting. Uh, some people would call saga uh, of alleged UFO and, and or extraterrestrial contact. So in 1971, apparently uh, you had two uh, producer, a uh, producer director combo of uh, it's uh, Alan Sandler. And is it Robert Eminem? Yeah. Adam Sandler, not Adam right? Sandler. Yeah, it's Adam yeah. Sandler. Adam. This, yeah, it's this, funny was ha- this was the first happy Madison production. Yeah. My, yeah. I completely read this wrong. I went down the wrong path. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're like looking through his credits. You're like, "Fuck, wait, I don't remember this one." I remember him being he's pretty young back this. Back Billy then. goes to space. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you had two. You had these two film Hollywood guys going out, and they were yeah. scheduled to go ahead and meet with some Air Force officials about doing a. Uh, either a one singular or a series of documentaries that were going to involve um, the United States Air Force. Um, And you know, like at these meetings, like Emmenegger let out a couple, right? (laughs) Like hundred percent without a doubt, right? Like he's fresh off the boat. hundred percent. Yeah. Right. Is that your Schwarzenegger? Yeah, it's Schwarzenegger. Oh, I just it. picture. I just That's Eminem. That's not Schwarzenegger. Eminem. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I just picture fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger rapping some Eminem and just combined it. It's just a big <laughs> juiced out fucking rapper. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Eminem, right? Like Eminem and Schwarzenegger. I, 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 get, I get it. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you had both uh, Eminager and Sandler uh, sitting in on a meeting with a couple of officials that um, is actually the meetings went down at Norton Air Force Base. Another one. Um, so first you put the poop in the bag and then you lights it on fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so Norton. Mom spaghetti. <laughs> I don't know any Eminem lyrics. <laughs> Uh, Norton Air Force Base is actually in California, which would make sense since both of these guys were like straight out of Hollywood. Um, 
and they were i, I believe emanager and uh sandler both had like documentaries and film credits uh already attributed to them so they were kind of maybe perhaps hand hey guys thanks for watching i know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments but here's the next one over here or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation you get full access to it on patreon anyways thanks guys enjoy the next video